there, there's a question you hate, mm -hmm. and it's, do you believe in God? And I, and I love your approach on that. Well, people don't know what they mean when they ask that question. So I would love you to elaborate it's on nonsensical. that. It's nonsensical. Well, because people, what people usually want, Christians do this to me mostly, what they really want is they want me to validate their theory of belief. And they don't even know they have a theory of belief because they think what belief is is obvious, and it's not obvious at all. Like, is belief your willingness to verbally assent to the reality of a set of facts? Well, that's what an empiricist would say, or a rationalist. And most Christians who ask me that question are rationalist empiricists, and they don't even know it. And so they want me to say, well, God exists the same way a table exists. And that's, that's, just, that's just not helpful. They, that isn't a helpful question. It's not formulated properly. And then there's many other forms of belief. So you can say one thing and do another, right? Then you might say, well, then what do you believe? Do you believe what you say or do you believe what you did? And I mean, people are full of contradictions like that. Well, and so I would say, I love that. I generally speaking, what you do is a much more precise and accurate marker of what you believe than what you say. Now, if you were fully integrated, what you say and what you believed would be the same thing. But that's pretty damn rare. And people will say, well, I believe in Christ. And I think, you do, do you? Really? Look at Where, your actions. What's the evidence for that? You know Are you them moving by their mountains fruits. with your faith? And if you're not, then you might ask, well, you know, just how deep is your belief? Because in principle, if you have sufficient faith, then you can move mountains. And so, you know, and does that, is that literally the case? That's a stupid question. So he spoke in parables. So if you knew him, you knew what he was saying. I, well, we move mountains all the time. We use like earth moving equipment to move mountains. We can move mountains, but that, and so, and to some degree, that's a manifestation of faith. If you, if you untangle it sufficiently, but you, you, when you read the biblical texts, for example, there's part of what you need to bring to bear on the stories is a bit of imagination. They're not, they're not, it's not a, it's not a collection of scientific texts. That's not what it is. It's, it's not even close to that. That's not what it is. So, and most people who say to me, you know, do you believe in God? This question's just a trap. And the trap is, are you willing to tell me that what I believe to be the case about what I believe is true? It's like, no, because we're not coming at the question from the same perspective. So, and then people are irritated at me because they say, well, you can't question what the person means to believe. And it's, well, that's what they're doing to me. So I see absolutely no reason why turnabout isn't fair play. Do you believe in God? Do you believe in your belief? What exactly do you mean? And you're going to ask a question that there isn't a deeper question than that. That is the most intrusive possible question. And what are you just supposed to? That's just something casual. It's not casual, not in the least. Do you love Christ with all of your heart? Probably not. That's a hard stunt to pull off. And it's a hell of a demand. Do you love your daughter with all of your heart? Same question, probably. Same objection probably applies. Like, you know, none of us are unblemished vessels. So, no. Does that mean I'm not trying to? Well, I'm probably to some degree it means that. Hey guys, it's Toby and Susan here. Just a quick announcement. We found something that transformed our Sundays and it's called the Sunday Sermon Journal. That's right, no more scattered notes. This journal turns your Sunday reflections into a purposeful journey of growth. That's right. Imagine having all your sermon notes in one place. Neatly organized, no more lost thoughts. It becomes a treasured keepsake, a journey of joy a connection with God. Order yours at sundaysermonjournal.com.